Hey YouTube, um, I just got my uh, gas mask in the mail today. Um, it's a German Z56, uh, orange outserts. Um, looks in pretty good condition. It's uh, kind of just colored like a cream color. It's supposed to be like really white. And it's at stuff marks from the inside of the canister. Pull the latch down and out like that. Then you just pop it open like that. Uh, it's got bubble wrap in the bottom for like padding. I didn't take it out because uh, if I put it back in, which I, I don't think I will for a while because it's still all like wrinkled up because the guy I bought it from folded it up to put it in. So I want to get it shaped back a little bit at least. And then up in the top of the canister, uh, you can pop it. Pew. It's not terrible. Just pop the thing open, and that's where the uh, any fog stickers would go. You got a piece of cardboard shaped like any fog stickers. Um, I think he did that so that the spring, right? I don't know if you can see that right there. Wouldn't scratch the bottom. You know, take the paint off. Uh, that's cool. Uh, a little rusted. Heavy. I don't know how to wear it yet. Cause it's got one strap and then it's got this hook. I don't know. I don't know how to wear those. I think you, I think you wear it. I don't know. Um, then. Anyway. It came with and unopened uh, Oyer filter. Um, on it it says FE55 and 60 over 506 and then it's got the Oyer or Oyer symbol, I don't know how to say it, and a C. Uh, there's the Oyer symbol right there and it's got it right there too up here, but I can't, you can like, kind of see it, like the outline of it, can't really read it, but that's what it is, A-U-E-R, there's the F-E-55, uh, that was the 60 over 506, let's turn it more, There's the C, right, right here. Yeah, you can't really see it. It's like a, looks like a Sharpie marker, I think. Still got the string on it and the seal on it. Uh, so I, I don't know if I'm gonna open it yet. I don't think I will. Can't really find out how to open it. Tried putting, uh, taking this off, uh, just the screw top, so I could still keep this, but I don't think I'll be able to breathe out of it very well then. Maybe I'll just buy another filter sometime. Uh, then I'll have one sealed. I mean, I, I know it's not going to save me for anything because the filter's probably expired, but um, it's kind of cool. I like the paper there. It's got like German writing on it. Higher uh, Dan. I, ca I can't read it. I don't know. It's uh, instructions on how to... Oh, I guess you just pop this off. You don't... still don't know how to unscrew this, but I'm guessing after you get this off it'll be easier. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna probably Google Translate this. 
uh, uh, the writing on the tape because it tells me how to do it. I'm pretty sure I pull it off. I know it sounds kind of stupid. I don't know what to do. But I have never bought a gas mask and never have seen anybody open a filter. So, yep. Uh, I don't know if I pointed this out, but it's got orange outserts on it. Orange colored eye lenses. It's got the nose piece, just like uh, they normally would. It says Z56 2. 2 is the size, Z56, and that's, that's the mask. Um, back here, I bubble wrap all over it, keeping the shape. I uh, are all the straps. There's a strap that goes back and around your head over here to clip onto this. There's a clip there and you clip it on. There, no, I'll do it. There, it clips on like that. And it's just an extra strap around your neck. Uh, this is the filter. Uh, I think it's in. I think it's working. It looks like it's got the black plastic there, or the not the plastic, the rubber piece, the XL valve, and then you know, there's where the uh, filter goes in. That's stupid. Um, hang on. Show the inside. Got the chin strap right there, and then it doesn't have the writing over on the cheek where it should, or not where it should, but where some models do. There's an Oyer symbol all the way in there. I can't see through the lenses, so I'm not seeing very well. Oyer right there. Um, yep. Uh, I put it on once right when I got it. Uh, it fits perfect, so I don't really need to mess with the straps. Um, I'll put it on. Smells funny. Smells just like the canister over here. But, uh, I can't find them very much. I think this rail, I'm guessing they are. Um, I've seen them a couple times. Uh, oh crap. Um, my computer can't hear me, I guess. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't know how to open the one thing. Oh, wait. Here, here, here's the strip. Oh, I can't get this drop back here. I'd probably have to mess with this. I'd have to mess with the um, thing because I don't want to break it. I want to keep it in good condition. So, and the mask stays on anyway without it. For now, that'll be fine. Um, it didn't come with any fog stickers, so they get a little fogged up. <sighs> yeah, they just got a little fogged up. Um, I don't know the voice diaphragm, but I can hear myself pretty well, so it probably isn't too bad. Uh, I can't tell if my computer's hearing it or not, so, yeah. So, uh, stuff's all of it from the inside of the can. And, uh, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say about it. I thought it was pretty cool. 
Um, I was trying my, I guess my own gas mask. My dad says I can only have one. He thought it was a big waste of money, so. Anyway, I've seen this in Firebird JP's video. It's the 56. Uh, I knew I wanted a gas mask. I originally wanted a German M38 or M40, but I couldn't find them. Uh, especially for a reason of price. They're pretty hard to find by themselves, with even with an unreasonable price, so. Uh, I got this one. It's pretty cool. I, I, it's I wouldn't trust it with my life, obviously, because the filter is expired, even though it's sealed. Um, but, it's cool. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. So. Uh. Oh, if I were to rate it, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 10. Because I don't really know much about gas masks. Uh, I know this one's kind of hard to find. I've seen it one other time on an actual like, sale website where they have a stock of it. Not like thousands and thousands, but like... I, I, I didn't really look at the stock. But, um... I feel like 55 bucks plus $20 shipping. And I paid $35 plus $20 shipping. Uh... So, um, I think it's a pretty cool mask. I think it's pretty good. Uh, that's it.